I'd like you to soak this in for a second just to get a rough idea where we're headed. This is uh, the antenna and it's kind of a rough picture. I gleaned it off the internet but this I thought was kind of cute. Soak it up, take it in and then we will begin. Now I went to Office Depot, Office Max and I had them take the 8x11 and make it as large as they possibly could which was 11 by 17 Now you can use the one that's printed off the internet if you'd like. It makes for a smaller one and your antenna is probably going to do just about as well. But I thought what the heck I'm going to go for the gold and see how much I can have it increased in size. Print it out and make a bigger one. Maybe it'll make a difference, maybe it won't. But I paid for four copies, 30 cents each. Now. The other two copies are for another antenna, which I'd like to try at a later date. So I need to cut out of some foam board the dimension. From the edge of the paper, I'm measuring two inches in. That gives me one, two, three-eighths of an inch for overhang of the antenna. There we go. I think I explained it to myself better that time. And same thing down at the edge, two inches in. Then I'll be able to just draw a straight line. And then we'll cut that off. Now, so now instead of two and three eighths, I have two and a quarter. So all I need to do is just back up about another quarter of an inch. That gives me my three eighths down here. Mark it at two. Cutting the ends off will be the next step. So I'm going to try to get it as right as I can. Well, I'm going to go over just a touch. It's cutting time. There is no perfect, only done. And cut. Yeah. Now it's time to carefully cut the antenna. Now for the foil. Now I'm using heavy duty aluminum foil. It doesn't matter, it's just that this is a little more forgiving I guess. A little heavy dutier. So if all you've got is the regular then fine. Oof, that was close. Right over. Secure this down. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Now I'm going to trace. If the ink wipes off, I've still got the pressure from the pen. Should be good. All right, what am I missing?
tape and flip it over. So a delicate. And there we go. Right, flip it over. Done. Outlining. There we go. Template. Alright, so you tell me. Did I get it all? So that is what it's going to look like. Like the book, closing and opening, closing and opening. Now, I don't know, or do I think, that there's any right or wrong way. But then again, I take that back. Reason being is if our connectors are going to be here, then spread out to receive signal is better. It should be fine. Carefully place this on top. that a nice little push down. That'll be fine. Number two. Now on my supports, I want to match the two pieces up, so I cut the excess off. <clears throat> now you want to make a right angle, so I found a box, kind of set it up like that, so looks about right. So let me throw a piece of tape over that, and just kind of mock set it up. Weighted down. Maybe you're not. I mentioned that after drawing that center line and lining it up with the apex of this, that I brought it forward away from the apex of this right angle about that much. Okay. This way. See my little creation, 2x4, coat hanger, bada bing, like so, so I can move that, uh, eighth of an inch, hold it down, This that's what it looks like. This will be making the connection sheet metal screw, lockdown washer, and the nuts. 
I'm going to be making some holes with a bit of a puncher. Make my hole. And make my hole on the other side. That's good. And bolt. And get my bolt through. Like so. What? And whatever is easiest for this. I think so. Get my lock washer. Yeah. And my nut. Lock washer. Come on, little guy. And my nut. My other nut. Two nuts, two lock washers, two sheet metal bolts. Not tight. Not tight at all. Because you're dealing with paper and foam. That will give you a very solid connection. And technically it's done. And that's it.